welcome back to another episode of Cactus Quest. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It is I, your host, Hunter, and in today's episode, I'm with Kevin, and we're going to be wrapping up our plant shopping in Arizona series here with Box Cactus Nursery. It is incredible, and I can't wait to show it to you, so come on, let's go ahead and check it out. So whether you go retail or the specimen house first, doesn't really matter, but this is their retail spot. Neo, Neo. Uh oh. That's here. This is your corner right here. I want one of these. So you come outside in in between every single greenhouse here they've got tables and tables and tables and tables of cactus assorted cactus all kinds of stuff you've got beautiful pharaoh cactus you've got echinocerius you've got stenocerius you've got uh saguaros you have yellow spine wolzenias which around here they're all red spine and habitat parksoniana there's just so many great plants here and uh, and it's really reasonable, really reasonable. This is a pretty one. How pretty is that, dude? Uh, nice one. So we we are walking into the second of. I'm not even to be honest with you. I'm not even quite sure. Well, I count how many. Twenty seven. Twenty seven greenhouses, and to give you a slight idea of what we're looking at here, it's like literally all cactus. I mean. There's some some other stuff, but it's all cactus, drought tolerant, and desert plants. And look, I'm not gonna go through every single house and show you every table. You just need to come out here and check it out yourself and just trust me, it's worth it. Wow, man, there's a lot of cactus in here. So on the outside, in this big parking area that you see here, you're gonna find a lot of landscape-sized plants. And I mean, all kinds of stuff. So there's obviously, it's, it's mammillaria dominant, but you do have a lot of columnars. You have a lot of, uh, gosh, look at, oh my God, dude, would you look at that? Mammillaria parksonia, parksonia. Oh, oh, I love it. The dichotomizing mams just, they do it for me. This, this section of, uh, of the nursery is what I like to call the uh, thrift store section. It's mostly stuff that's been neglected and forgotten about. But then you go through and you find something like that. That's a beaut. Mm -hmm. That is uh, Thelocactus reconensis. Yeah, very nice. We've got the Pinky Bacillaris. <gasps> no, okay, never mind. Sorry. Look at this. This is no more money. This is probably like $7. Yep. Bring it around, let's see. Now this is where the debate begins. We found a variegated ferro cactus. The question is, do we buy it? Is it is it very is it variegated or is it chewed up? No, it's variegated, dude. That looks variegated to me. I mean, I'm not a fan of variegation all that much, to be honest with you, so I am not gonna get it. So you can see they are uh, collecting seed when the when the Euphorbia obesa seeds are ready 
to, to go, the little seed pods actually burst and the seeds will just explode everywhere. So when you see these little bags when you're walking around a nursery, a lot, of, a lot of you already know that's a sign that they're collecting seed. But if you don't know, don't touch that. Leave that alone because that's where they're trying to collect seeds so that they can keep it going and make new ones. But yeah, this is their, their Euphorbia stock. Lovely. In a visa guy? Me? Look at this oh, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just... The cool. markings on that are pretty... Age, they do look different. Oh, baby, wait till you get a look at this specimen house, baby. They got so many cactus, big giant cactus. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's go take a look. Come on, baby, let's go. So, I haven't had the opportunity to really pick anyone's brain about this and ask a ton of questions. And you're gonna see one hell of an assortment. You've got everything from mellow cactus to euphorbia to mammillaria, lots and lots of mammillarias. You know, uh, you saw at Plants of the Southwest, that was probably one of the most epic lithops and conophytum collections. I will tell you right now, just from my my short experience, I have not come across any type of collection of mammillaries that comes close to what you're going to see here, not even nothing at all. And again, there's a bunch of Milos. You've got Areocytes, you've got Stenocactus. What do you think about the lighting in here right now? What do you think, man? This, this is incredible. These uh, aerial carpets over here are quite lovely. Did you say aerial carpus? I did, sir. Oh, yeah. I've been here before, so I'm not going to pretend like I didn't know, but yes. Yeah. I'm kind of partial, I think, to that one there. That's the... Uh... No, 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 no. Don't be preposterous. The beast? That one is is the offspring of that one. What do you... Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, this has got just a nicer color on it. Frosty blue. It's got much more erratic growth patterns though. I mean, honestly, I, this guy right here is getting ready to do some things. What do you think? I see two growing points. A bunch of different varieties of retusis. Mammillaria plumosa and in habitat this will grow out of uh, like little crevices and fissures in the limestone down in Mexico it's stunning check this out yeah feed that it's got like the webs little spiders see how it's like it creates oh, like yeah. a little uh, that is a euphorbia polygona euphorbia polygona I think it's King Ferdinand Yeah, that's this is Queen Victoria, dude. And then this is King Ferdinand. King Ferdinand. Yeah, Ferdinand. Look at this Stena. Look at that big old chunk. Yeah, that's, that's... Needless to say, you gotta come check this spot out. It is definitely. I love this, dude. This is one of my favorite mams. I just love it. Mammillaria huichlipotlii. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Wow, would you look at that? I mean, look at the Sastrophytum. I mean, these mammillarias. I mean, this place is incredible. Honestly, even if I don't buy a ton of plants when I go here, this is like literally one of my favorite places to go walk around because there's so much stuff in the landscape, so many different greenhouses to check out. And really, honestly, everybody that I talk to that works there is extremely nice. Um, they're willing to show you around, stop what they're doing and answer questions. It's just a really great place to go when you're in Tucson. I could not recommend it more. 
Um, and I want to thank everybody for watching the videos and subscribing to the channel and commenting on everything. And, uh, you know, I broke a thousand subscribers recently, and that is incredible. Just very, very, very grateful about that. And I wanted to say thank you to everybody. Um, and I'm just going to let the beat ride out and show you some other, uh, some more of this cactus. So enjoy.